Hi everyone, Dr. Kimber here. I want to give you some tips if you find wearing a mask very triggering. The first thing that you want to know is to really be loving and kind to your body. Your body is trying to keep you safe. And so it needs the connection with your mind and the present moment to really remind it that the mask is not a threat. The mask isn't a life-threatening situation, that the mask is there to protect you, to help keep um, you safe. And even though it's uncomfortable, or it can be uncomfortable, it's really there to support you and again, to keep you safe. So just take some, take a few moments to hang out with your mask and to really get familiar with it, maybe feel it. There's lots of different kinds, so you could even experiment with different ones that feel better. The thing about it is you really wanna hang out with your mask and long enough that you can take a natural deep breath, which I know that I just made that happen, but that's really what you're looking for because you're in charge. You're in charge and you're safe in this moment. And so you really need your body to catch up with what your mind already knows. That is, you're not gonna suffocate with the mask. It's gonna be maybe uncomfortable breathing, but you're not gonna pass out with it. So you really want to get in the state of mind to remind yourself that I'm safe. So one of the ways that you could even do it is we call this kind of the self-hug in trauma work. And just even like hang out with, I am safe. I'm safe. And I'm looking at my mask right now, reminding myself that, that I'm safe. Just even the idea of going to the store Okay, that's anxiety producing, but in this moment right now, I'm safe. So that is true. So I'm holding two realities, the reality of how anxious I may get with the mask over me, but also in this moment, the mask isn't on me and I'm safe. And another way that we can help override any of the anxiety that's going on is to soften our gaze. So when we get in an anxious state, our eyes start really focusing hyper alert. Like we become hyper vigilant and we are looking for threat everywhere. So if we force the muscles in our eyes or invite the muscles in our eyes to relax, it tells our whole system, hey, there's no problem here. I'm safe. Another way that you can do that is soften the jaw. Our jaws, when we're on high alert, get really tight and clenched. And our tongue goes to the roof of our mouth. So even practicing softening your jaw, making your tongue heavy while you have the mask on is a whole way to tell your whole system, hey, you got this, you're safe. Another thing is our hands. When we're really anxious, our hands tend to get tight. So one of the, the video yesterday was talking about mask anxiety. So if you can keep your hands soft, it really helps tell your whole system, hey, you, can, you don't have to be on hyper alert. You can relax, we're safe. So a couple things aside from that is practice at home. Just practice imagining putting the, the, the mask on. And you really wanna wait until that imagination isn't making you super tense. You really wanna be able to breathe deep, even imagining putting on the breath, I mean, putting on the mask. Okay, another thing is just, okay, yeah, that's hot air, that's hot air. But I also notice at the same time that my feet are on the floor. So I don't really like that hot air but I notice my feet on the floor too. And then I can just take it off. I'm not even hooking it. I'm just kind of putting it there. And my body might just be revved up, so anxious. It, depending on what your background is, you might even start shaking. And I want you to be able, you can even just put it far away, far away. 
And if you're shaking, I just want you to be like, I'm safe. You can even look around the room. There is no threat at all. Let your body know. Your mind knows these things, but your body, when it's shaking, it really needs reassurance from your mind. I'm safe. And I don't even have to put the mask on right now. I'm safe. I can just, this is good enough for today. So if you can't get th that deep breath, then you know. Take it a, a step back and maybe start right here again and put it down. Here's the thing. Triggering can happen at really at, at any time. So progress around working through trauma triggers is never like this. It's never like this because there's, because it can just come out of the blue. So really having loving kindness and really know that if ever you're in a store, not sure where to go um, or, or like if you can make it, just know like you could leave your basket. It's okay. You can go outside. You can take your mask off. You can get some air. It's not a failure. You really, really want to honor your body, your system, and some days are better than others. And to really know that doesn't mean you've just ruined all of the, the progress or your ability to go out. So please have the expectation. It's not going to be a progress like this. Now, you can have that where you get more and more comfortable, but I want you to be prepared that at times you might have a trigger that comes out of the blue and that doesn't mean you've lost everything that the, of the skills that you've gained, okay? So be kind and loving and I hope this helps. If not, if you have some other things, just DM me and I'm happy to walk you through because certain people need certain steps and some, depending on what the past is that, that keeps coming into the present, is kind of how long it's going to take. So there's no right answer for how long you need to practice these things. The, the measure is when can your body relax? And then when your body can relax, then you know you can kind of get closer and closer until you can hook your mask. And then what I recommend is walk around. Walk around with it and just get used to it. So get used to the sensations and do it um, in a way that you have the ability to take it off. So let's say you think that you're going to go into a store for 15 minutes. Well, try walking around at least for 10 out in your home days before you even consider going to the store. Just give yourself lots of rehearsal and lots of practice. And the whole idea is to be anxious and then to calm that. So it's it's a skill that you're learning and it's all good. So the idea isn't to ever be anxious. The idea is when you get anxious, how do you calm it? Really quick reminders, your eyes. Your eyes really follow your mind. So if your eyes start looking everywhere, you need to soften your eyes. Tell yourself I'm safe anytime, even in a store. You could be pushing a cart and kind of squeezing in like this, like I'm safe. It's, it's kind of a half hug, right? I'm safe, I'm contained, I'm okay. Rehearsing, I'm okay. Your jaw, your tongue, make your tongue heavy and your hands. Just, you know, kind of shake them out as you're walking. Um, those things will really help you navigate when you get that glinch like, oh, I can't breathe. No, just you're okay. Your mask is not a threat. It does get hot. It does get uncomfortable. But as you can really slow your breath down, it's going to be less uncomfortable. So again, don't let your body believe that you're trapped because you're not. And good luck. <laughs>